All right, guys. Uh, <clears throat> today we're going to look at uh, this is a twin cam 88V. It's uh, engine. This is a 1450 88 inch, 1450 cc 88 cubic inch Harley Davidson engine. And I've just been reading some uh, recent posts on uh, problems that uh, apparently uh, is really a lack of, of uh, good attention on Harley Davidson's part, but uh, there's some cam, cam chain tensioners in here that are actually a nylon uh, pad that rides on the chain. And Harley doesn't anywhere in their maintenance uh, procedures designate when to change or when to check these for wear. But uh, apparently it's a problem with some Harley Davidsons because people don't know to check them that they're a maintenance item and they go they left. They get left undone, and uh, uh, it can cause some pretty severe engine problems. So right now I'm, I'm going to take off my front exhaust pipe here, and then I'm going to pull the uh, cam cover and um, take a look at in the inside of this and see what, what I can actually see in here. So with no further ado, I've already loosened up this uh, little cover here, just a chrome cover and dropped it down enough where I could get a socket in on the uh, manifold bolts. There's also a couple bolts underneath that hold uh, a crossover onto the muffler, so I'll be taking those off as well. I think they're a 3 8 bolt, but we'll see. Once I get these two bolts out, it should come off. Boom, voila, that was easy, easy. Just set the whole exhaust pipe down there. Now we've got to get an Allen wrench. It looks like we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, Allen screws or bolts, depending on what you want to call them. And I'm going to save all my oil uh, because this is a synthetic uh, oil. It's about $10 a quart, so I don't want to throw that away. And what I've got for that is a is an ice cream bucket under the uh, where the oil should run out of there. So okay, so that's a three sixteenth Allen I've got here. We're just gonna break all the all the bolts loose. May even be able to save the gasket. I don't recommend doing that normally, but. I'm hoping that this is a uh, just a inspection point for me. I've been running synthetic oil in this motorcycle since it was new, since I took the break-in oil out of it at 500 miles. Hopefully that has helped on the wear on these things. I've been reading a lot of stuff about these pads, that, tensioner pads that. Uh, it's kind of scary. They have gone out on people anywhere from 4,000 miles to, to you know, some people get 60,000 miles plus and don't have any problems out of them. Since I'm considering a fairly long trip within the next few weeks, what I don't want is to be broken down beside, on the side of the road. Now, if I, in fact, have to go deeper into the motor and replace these, this uh, will be a series of videos rather than than just one video. But uh, I'd like to thank J&T for life for uh, pointing this out to me this was a potential problem, but it is a matter that they really don't bring out into light that this needs to be inspected, and it has uh, caused some problems for folks because they didn't know they needed to look at it. All right, now I need a rubber hammer. Give us a little tap. We 
may some, need something a little bit better than that. I wish I had a plastic hammer or a dead blow, but I don't. There she blows. All right. Okay, so this is what the this is the item we're looking at. And apparently the problems were caused by this chain being rough, and of course that being a piece of nylon. Um, you know, friction is naturally going to wear wear things out. So what I'm going to try to do here is it's got, it's got a spring, tightens it up. I just want to pull it away and I want to look at that thing and I gotta say that that is that's like brand new There's hardly anywhere on it there is hardly anywhere on this at all 20,000 miles and hardly anywhere on that one now the other one there's two two um, tensioners and the other one is right down in there, and you see the orange right there. So, see right down in there? That's the other one. Now I've got to get in there and inspect that. Now some people say that those wear out faster than others. Some people say that the outside one uh, wears out faster than, than the inside. So, I'm going to have to inspect that. And I can certainly see... They're talking about needing a small inspection mirror for this task. I've got one here. It's about an inch wide. As long as it doesn't fall off in there, I'll be in great shape. Okay, 20,000 miles on this bike. Hardly anywhere on that shoe at all. So I gotta say that I'm very excited about the fact that that's not gonna cause me any problems. I can't imagine that causing me problems for at least another 20,000 miles. But I'm gonna check it uh, about every 10,000 to go ahead and pin this this other one back and really get a real good camera shot on the shoe. So there's the shoe. Now if I can do this. It's just got a little tiny bit of an edge there. I don't know what how many thousands that would be, but it's certainly not much inside I mean I can even hardly feel that wear in there it's it's really really good all right so that was the inspection uh, had I had to replace these um, it would require taking all of this off um, and it looks like um, from the information I have now, rather than pulling the heads off or the gas tank and the rocker boxes to to uh, relieve the pressure off the the valve lifters, mm, a lot of people are opting just to snip these with bolt cutters and then replace this whole assembly with an adjustable uh, here and up here with an adjustable push rod. But, So I would have to take this assembly off, take the timing gears off. 2006, they replaced the spring with hydraulic with an oil pressure operated system, but it still has this pad. So I can't really see that, uh, that that's that much of an improvement. 
I want to go back together with it and I'm really happy.